going on, Libras? <clears throat> Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading or if you've donated to my page. Thank you. Thank you for your well wishes um, while I was down. I got my voice back. It's in and out here and there. So just bear with me if you can. Appreciate you guys so much. Um, so let's see what the message is for you, okay? All right, you guys have garnet purification and detoxification. That's what's up, all right? So it says it's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. Now, guys, if you got people around you that are harsh, uh, they talk to you any type of way or they feel like they have leverage over you, if they speak down to you, stuff of that nature, these are not people that you need to have around you. Right, that is a part of the detoxification that you're needing to have. Okay, for some of us, we have bosses that may uh, speak to us, you know, in this fashion. You know, I understand we need our jobs, etc. Um, but that's not the type of energy you should be in. Okay. Um, so I'm speaking to the people specifically with jobs where their bosses are condescending. Um, you're not happy. You haven't been happy in quite some time. Some of you may be experiencing, you know, digestive issues, um, headaches, body aches, stuff of that nature as you're walking into that job. Okay. And it's because your body's trying to tell you, hey, we're done with this. We, we're over it. It's time to go to the next thing. Or some of you are just trying to hold on due to loyalty or how long you've been there or you have tenure or stuff of that nature. But no, it's time for you to, to start anew uh, because what, what's going to happen is spirit is going to pave a way for you um, to be happy because that's what it's all about. Right. Your body is un at un uh, your body is at an unrest. Excuse me. Uh, it's not feeling well because it's not. Uh, meshing well with the environment that is in okay so you got to pay attention to all of those things for others of you you may be eating things that are not for you i'm doing the same listen i claim it i'm a libra rising um i'm i'm starting a water fast tonight um you know just as i'm coming down from a sinus infection so i get it right some of you may be struggling like i have been um we have to really, really pay attention to what we're doing to our bodies right now, okay? Um, it's almost like like our bodies don't have, you know, we're in this meat suit, right? We don't have a voice, but the energy within you is saying, hey, you know, you're doing everything possible to go against my light, right? I'm supposed to shine bright. I'm supposed to be healthy. I'm supposed to, you know, be vibrant, um, but some of the things that we're putting in our bodies are like putting our lights out, people. Okay, so we got to really start, you know, treating our bodies like the temples that they are while we're in them. Right. Because, like I said, we're energy in, in a meat suit. So while we're in this meat suit, we need to treat it the best way we can um, so that our light can continue to shine. Um, yeah. Let me get the book because I want to go over what the book is wanting you guys to know as well. Okay. One minute. For Garnet. All right. It says this card probably validates what you've already been sensing it's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life okay so with that first sentence guys some of you may have some relationships or people around you that are toxic that you need to cut off once and for all um, for some of you you could be in a marriage or you could be in a relationship and you're teetering on what it is that you need to do in your life. And spirit is calling for you to really sit with yourself, to really meditate on this energy so that you can make the best choice for you. Not about what everyone else wants you to do, what you feel it will be best for you in this situation and what will bring you uh, happiness down the line. Okay, someone needs to understand um, that you're being called to really put yourself first now. You're being called to really look at how you feel 
uh, from frontwards to backwards and make the best decision, you know, uh, for, for your life. Okay. So what's the first thing that comes to mind to detox? Probably, uh, you've been, uh, receiving inner divine guidance to enjoy a clean energy diet or to abstain from chemicals, or maybe you are feeling called to avoid harsh energy in relationships on social media, in your daily activities, or in the media, okay? This is a supportive time for you to make this healthful shift. Reach out for qualified help if addictions are creating uncontrollable cravings. Prayer can also help you purify your motivations and intentions, so that they are inspired from your higher self instead of your ego. With higher vibrational intentions, your manifestations will be more fulfilling and satisfying, okay? So Spirit really wants you to work, right? Really wants you to work on getting yourself feeling better, okay? Getting yourself to a healthier state because as you are, right, you, your light is shining brighter, you're attracting those things that you've been asking for, you know, when we're not good body-wise, mentally, physically, uh, we put up blocks uh, to the things that are meant to come towards us. And you don't want to have any blocks right now, Libras. Okay, so let's continue. What did I just say? We have shine your light, Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me to share my light with the world. And that's what I was just saying to you guys. Your light is not shining as bright as it could be because you need to detox. You need to purify your life. You need to make some changes. So let's get the message uh, for this card. One moment, dears. All right. You are blessed to have received this angel card today. As the angels feel the world is now ready to see the special gifts and talents that they call your light. You have been hiding yourself from the world for far too long now. And it's time for you to step into the power and share the gifts you have with all of those around you. You are a great beacon of light. And when you walk into the room, many people benefit from your positive energy and heart-filled presence. Your, excuse me, your guardian angel is encouraging you to continue on the spiritual pathway and to help as many people as you can. It's important to look after your energy first. But if you can be of service to another, the angels are encouraging you. The mighty Archangel Uriel is standing before you today and showing you the way to go. However, you feel called to serve. It has been angelically inspired. Go for it and shine. Okay? So listen, your Archangel Uriel, the name means God's light. And he is the angel of light. He brings the light, energy, and harmony of the sun into our lives so that we can feel youthful and inspired. He helps us to feel healthy, balanced, and focused too, so that we may have a clear picture of our goals and where they are taking us. If you're not sure what your next step should be, he can help you solve problems or work through challenges. So some of you may need to work uh, through some things with Archangel Uriel, okay? So Spirit is giving you that. Let's continue. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right, so we got the Ace of Wands, right? So this is you. Uh, Spirit is wanting you to walk towards those new beginnings. Some of you may be getting some good news soon, right? This is you physically, actually, not just thinking about something that you want to do. Some of you have just been in the thought process, but you haven't been bringing things to fruition. You haven't been putting the pen to the paper or you haven't been making things uh, uh, in real time, okay? You just don't want to think about an idea. 
you want to work towards making it visible something that's here and now okay um so the creative sparks that you guys have you need to work on uh making new initiatives if those are not working out for you uh finding out what else it is that you like to do or maybe have a passion about right being very enthusiastic about how you're moving in your life on your own or finding the enthusiasm that you haven't had thus far okay so some of you are needing to have some urgency with that okay yes it's going to be a, a, a challenge for you but you have the potential to grow and spirit is backing you with this for some of you you're going to need to travel for whatever it is that you are going to settle on doing and it's going to be exciting for you some of you may travel now but you may travel for work or you may travel you know just with your family but being able to travel with your craft or, or with you know, a creative endeavor will bring you much joy because you'll be out and you'll be networking with other people and stuff of that nature. OK, so if any of you are asking a question right now, the the answer is yes. OK, I have to put that out there. Um, we also have um, Sagittarius energy in this card. All right. <clears throat> we have Leo energy in this card. And we have Aries energy in this card. Okay, so fire sign energy uh, for some of you. And we also have, let me see what that one is. Uh, so it's the uh, crown chakra. So some of you are needing to maybe clear your crown. So if you have been taking spiritual baths and you haven't been really pouring the water over your head, the salt water, you really need to do that, okay? Because some of you may be going back and forth with thought processes. You're having a hard time making decisions. Now, you know, us Libras are historically, you know, we, we have a problem with making decisions. We 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 look at everything front was backwards, upside down. I get it. Um, but, but some of you may be struggling really right now because you can't really make a decision that, that, make sense to you with something that's going on in your life so you may need to clear that area of your crown uh because it can be uh that you've been manipulated a bit with a little bit of spell work i have to put that out there also um so you want to clear that area with the sea salt water um so that you can gain re, re uh, control of your uh crown area and your thought process um and it's going to help you get from being unclear um, to being sure of yourself, okay, uh, with certain decisions. I feel like you guys are elevating. I feel like you're you're working towards uh, asserting yourself more um, and being seen, okay, for those of you that know what I'm talking about. Now, you have the Three of Pentacles here, okay? With this Three of Pentacles uh, energy, you guys may have people around that you can rub against. Iron sharpens iron. Remember that, okay? You may have... Uh, things going on that you may need to learn. You may be studying. You may be putting uh, hard work in certain areas or be willing to uh, or you're willing to put in hard work in certain areas or be uh, on some sort of team. You're determined to get to a certain goal right now. Um, you may be paying close attention to detail because you want everything to go the way that you need it to go. And again, we have another yes uh, for anyone that's asking a question with this card. You could be utilizing the people around you to get to a certain place. So you may be getting information from friends or family, um, loved ones or, or uh, work associates, etc. Okay, you guys could be um, online, you could be learning, you could have enrolled in some sort of higher uh, learning class or something of that nature. Um, but right now you're educating yourself. Okay, so this is what I got. All right. Um, Spirit is wanting you to stay in this mix that you're currently in. Right. On this path, this is where you need to be working um, on your creative endeavor, um, getting yourself out of situations with people, places, and things that are not for your highest good and that are not treating your body and your mind well, um, and you going forward and having the inspiration in yourself to know that you can do all things, 
okay? So this is what I got. I'm sending you guys love and light. Y'all take care.